Hey kids, gamer dad here. I wish I had a. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Oh, kids, it's dad, Ruby Ranger, and so I'm gonna play the glass staircase. Um, if those of you who have been following along the channel for Spooky Month, you will know that your gaming uncle, Pancake Detective, has been kind of marathoning a couple of different puppet combo games, and as a result, I've agreed to play the glass staircase which is a Giallo-inspired PS2-style, kind of like tank control -y Resident Evil, Silent Hill horror game from Puppet Combo. Um, this is probably going to take about two hours, and depending on how I edit this, I might split this up into two parts. I really want to do just one long Let's Play, just for the cinematic value of it, and I really want to just knock it out, but it's late, I've got the lights off, the kids are in bed, my partner is out of the house, so at some point during this playthrough, she's going to walk in and I'm going to be like, Jesus, fuck! But I'm stalling at this point. We need to just dive in and play a new game. That's right. Got to use the mouse. New game. Your progress will be erased. I should probably stop talking for a second at least. Let's watch the intro. Glass staircase. Oh fuck. God, the vibe. The they hit the vibe so well. Yeah, okay, so I think I got a second. I've known about Puppet Combo for a while. I watched Markiplier play uh Power Drill Massacre back in the day. I think this was like four or five years ago. Um and I've heard about some of their releases since then. I paid close attention to the Murder House release last year, but didn't get to play it. Um and you know it's spooky month so turned my attention over here because the pancake detective started playing these games and um it was my birthday recently happy birthday to dad and he bought me the glass staircase as a gift and now we're gonna figure out whether or not i'm going to curse him is this tank control oh fuck it is t wait it is tank controls oh i turn with okay so i've got my game pad out Ooh, this is this is gonna be a very interesting control scheme. Take your tablet? No, I'm not gonna take my tablet. What's the interact button? X oh X X is. Um Ooh. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna be playing this on the gamepad. Tension all, tension all, this is the estate. Helen, if you've already taken your tablet, please report to the dining hall. We've prepared a new task for you. The letter on the table will have further directions. Remember, good girls take their medicine. Good girls do their chores. Good girls go home. That is all, ladies. Okay, I'm... <laughs> I'm doing a thing here real quick. Um, uh, no, I don't want to rebind the controls I just kind of want to because I was going to play this on my gamepad and have the full PS2 experience but forward backwards strafe run is left shift action is F reload okay action reload menu or act oh action left mouse aim got okay cool done I don't have to do anything else Oh shit. Oh. Okay, this is going to be this is going to be a weird one. Hold on. This is going to be weird. Oh, I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. I have to stop following the mouse cursor. Take your tablet. Fuck, I don't want to take the tablet. Um Good girls do. I am I am not a good girl. 
I am not a good girl. Okay, so I have to ignore my mouse cursor as it pops up. You shouldn't go. Yeah, goddamn right I shouldn't fucking go. What we got over here? Glass is empty. I have a feeling that everybody else has taken their... Glass is empty. Fuck, 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 fuck. I hope I'm next. They picked you, Helen. I can't wait to go home myself. Well, well I'm not taking my fucking medicine, so... It's locked. Oh, are you kidding me? Can I... Will it only unlock if I, like, take the medicine? Shit. Fine, take the goddamn tablet. Alright. Oh, yep, okay. Ooh, here we go. Yes! Oh, this is so fucking good. Um, who's... Oh. oh, no! No, get... No, turn that off, please. Door to the balcony is locked. Wait, what, what is that? Why is this playing like that? A letter? Uh, Martin and Tatum. That sound where you were hearing the one at night in your dreams. That one that's been ringing in your head since our days in the trenches. Never went away, did it? Mine either. Martin, it's starting to make sense. There's been this heat. I felt it all the way in Scottsdale. It's been burning me for months, filling my head with dreams. Beautiful dreams. They've been telling me where to go. Sure, I was worried I was crazy, but I've met others along the way. We've all seen it. All felt it. It's not some made-up illness they've given to us. It's something real. This beautiful machine, it opens doors. I've seen it in my dreams, and I think I need to find it. I think it's where we're headed. This is something so much larger than I thought, Martin, than I could ever dream. If your dreams have been speaking to you as well, then you owe it to yourself. Come to the address marked in this envelope. It's some manner that I've seen the eyes open above. Come with us. It's going to be so beautiful. Sincerely, Lieutenant Grayson Dobbs. Oh, Lieutenant, that's some... Uh, why did it make that noise? I think it's the... I don't like... Oh, shit, fuck off. Is this the door I came? There's no map, I don't think. An empty cabinet, nothing useful here. Ooh, these lo-fi graphics are something else. Something else. Okay. Guess I get to go downstairs, but... Lieutenant, uh, Lieutenant Dobbs, Lieutenant Grayson Dobbs, I think was under the influence of some cultic mis... misanthropic mess. Is this the door? So many doors. This must be the one because it's letting me go through. I hope. Unless I'm just thoroughly off about everything. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, what the flip? Dusty vase, nothing useful. Oh, whoa, whoa, please stop scene changing and doing that. Oh. A letter. Okay. Helen, that's me. Though your time here has been short, it is still important that you can be determined as reliable. We would like you to begin tending the front garden of the estate. Twice a day, you will need to feed and water the flower bed as well as maintain the hedges. We are willing to trust this task to you, as you've been very regular in taking your medicine. Where some of the girls are somewhat unreliable. You can't expect your parents to want you back if you're unreliable, can you? To dissuade the others from running about outside, we've hidden the key beneath the downstairs piano. Please return it when you're done each day, and be sure to let none of the other girls see you. You're a good girl, Helen. Am I? Am I really? Okay. Freaking Handmaid's Tale shit. Um. Okay, so I guess I, what? Just go to the piano then. Wait, 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 wait. What, not the vase, but what's that? A dusty, they're both dusty vases. Okay. Um. I don't like the way that the music keeps doing that, that, that little break. Especially since it seems to keep doing it on cue with a camera change, so as it cuts, it just makes a sound, and I don't want you to stop it! Okay. See, just did it right there! Son of a bitch. Okay. Go through here? Okay, cool. Let's do this. This 
is gonna be a tough one for me, kids. Trying to be entertaining for like two hours straight. God, I would kill for that to stop. Maybe I should choose my words a little bit more carefully. It's locked. Oh, I've got hiccups. I do not need hiccups during a let's play. Ooh, it sounds like I am getting closer. Oh, oh, I am getting closer. <laughs> what? What? Um. Oh, there it is. Old piano. Try to move it. Yeah, of course. An old key. Pick it up. Uh, that close-up on her foot did not look good. Her feet are, are kind of nasty. I'm wondering if the effects of this medicine are having an effect on her feet. Well, I need to head outside with my key. I don't think I've got an inventory, do I? Okay, check in the controls real quick. Da, 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 da. There is no uh, inventory. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. So, yeah, get me through. Estate. Betty, if you've already taken your tablet, please report to the dining hall. We've prepared a new task for you. The letter on the table will have further directions. Remember, good girls take their medicine. Good girls do their chores. Good girls go home. That is all, ladies. Uh, oh, was not expecting that. Am I Betty? Am I Betty? Am I different? I'm trying to talk to... What do you remember about your parents? Helen didn't make it far. Don't believe what they're telling you. Okay, so now I am Betty. <gasps> I can get through the door without taking the medicine. Okay. Oh, I don't like any of this. Um, dining hall. I have not taken the medicine. Is that the, is this the way to go? Remind me, remind me. I'm usually terrible at games like these without some kind of map to help get me through. Fuck. Oh man, a letter, read it. Betty, early this morning a package arrived for you from an unconfirmed courier. The manor cannot be expected to assume responsibility for such a delivery, but as a courtesy we are informing you to retrieve it. Please do this immediately, lest something happen to your delivery. That would be a terrible shame, especially if it were from your mother. Alright, well, um... Uh... Great, what happened to Helen? That was the worst. That was the worst. Fucking... I knew that this was going to play out like this. She didn't mention anything about... God fucking... I... Oh, fuck. Okay. Is this it? How, how are you gonna fuck with me? A journal. Okay. 1919. Oh, we are... Okay, cool. Uh, there are a great many things that I've been able to overlook in my role as Lady of the House. The awful sounds and confusing orders my husband has given the help. The smells. Oh, the unholy smells. None of this is terribly unfamiliar to his work, though the extremes to which he is willing to push my familiarity with medicine, as the reasoning, is starting to make me think he himself is losing touch with reality. 
What I haven't been able to ignore is the heat. Many nights I've laid awake in my empty bed simply watching the window as this terrible heat overtakes my body. Not a heat that can be felt in the air, but something more intense. Almost like a fever, but not quite, as it doesn't radiate from me. Merely finds its nest in my body, burning for hours on end. Nothing I do seems to fight off this sensation. No medication I find from Edward's records, no salve or application I can find. I've taken to simply shedding my sleepwear and staring out into the night, hoping it passes. As much as I want to believe that this is merely my mind deceiving my body, the determinant nature of this illness coincides far too closely with the continuation of Edward's perverse sciences, if they even are to be considered sciences anymore. The longer I permit him to continue his work, the further away his dream is drawn to it. The further away his is drawn... Oh, the father... Uh, okay, the further... Shit. Ah, God damn it. The further away his is drawn to it, I have no proper recourse. Uh, this is our life, and I am res responsible as he is to the point, and I've come to understand that whatever he's come to study, whatever this illness is, it certainly isn't what he thought to cure. It's taking its toll on his body as well as mine, and I fear our housekeepers are starting to feel the similar dredge, be it this illness or something more akin to dread. Beyond that, the night sky has such a terrible glow as of late. Where I am more superstitious woman, I may perceive this as some kind of omen of ill fate, but I am as married to the rational world as I was when I met Edward. Still a greater part of me wishes he were here during these horrid nights. He used to be able to comfort me. We would be able to see this terrible glow and, and talk it away as something beautiful. Maybe that beauty is gone. Maybe my husband is gone. Mm. Mm. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Everyone. Uh, this door? Nope, that's locked. I don't like the sound. That's probably the storm outside. But I don't like the sound in any way, shape, or form. I don't like this game. Oh, God. I didn't take my medicine. I did not take the medicine. God, I'm... Grandfather clock. Oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't take the medicine. How bad is that going to be for me? Fuck. Okay, alright. Okay, alright. I'm, I'm not ready. Okay, here. Oh, snow. Oh, shit. Someone's been in. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. Fuck you. Um, where do you want me to go? Package, I gotta find my package. Not here, okay. <laughs> oh, I don't like these angles. That's a lot door. Seems to go into the house. Okay, cool. I do not like any of this. Oh, oh, really? Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, the sounds are bad. Oh, I can't see anything either. This is bad. No, it's okay. Where am I supposed to go? Is it the balcony? That, uh. want me to go through a, a maze? Fuck off with this. Oh, fuck off with this. A wet note. We have all seen the eyes, have we not? We have all felt the heat that powered us here. There is only the one feeling we have all shared. And now we must wait. The wait may be hard, it may be unforgiving, but we must wait. The dreams continue to speak through us. We have seen the doors open. The eye that follows from the parted clouds, showing us the path of salvation. The engine that will free us from the binds of the false prophets and bring our savior to us. We must wait as the doctor makes our dreams a reality we know they are. We must wait. Yeah, 
chest is missing. Great. Good ship. Um. Nope, it, it can't even go that way. All right. Where am I? Okay, that way either. Okay. Cool. So we're just gonna go around. Oh, look, see what happens? Oh, no. No, 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 no. What are you going to have chase me? Yep, yep, here it comes. I knew it. Fuck, fuck. The rain is stopping. I don't trust this. I don't trust this. I don't trust this. This is bad. No. Come on. Come on. Fuck. Oh, I'm going in circles, aren't I? Yeah, I am going in Jesus, shit. Okay. <sighs> Not doing good here, kids. Not doing good. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little teapot short and st- Oh, no. Whatever that camera change was, that was not okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh-uh. 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 No, 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 no. What? Wait a minute. What? Oh, why can't I get out? Oh, sh shit biscuits. Why can't I get out? Uh, hold on. Maybe this is the way. Fuck. This is the way? No. Oh no. Oh no! 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 no. Uh oh, we're all uh oh. Attention all, attention all, this is the estate. Dorothy, if you've already taken your tablet, please report to the dining hall. We've prepared a new task for you. The letter on the table will have further directions. Good girls take their medicine. Good girls do their chores. Good girls go home. Uh, mm. Oh my god, am I already the last one? Am I the last one? Oh no, there's still one more. Hey, 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 hey. We're the last two. Shit. 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 What do I do? I take the fu mm. fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Wait, that class is empty. Wait a second. That's not cool. Yo, 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 yo. Where's my medicine? Is there a. Wait a minute. There's no medicine to be taken, is there? Oh, fuck. They didn't give this bitch medicine. Oh, shit. Oh, sh Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, no. Um, hold on. I gotta... I gotta, um... Okay, I took a pause. I had to, uh... I, I messaged Pancake Detective. Now, he has not played the game, but I just messaged him and asked him what to do, whether or not I was gonna take the, the, the medicine. And I didn't explain anything. I didn't give him any context. All I said was, do I take the medicine or not? 
because once I have taken it, the second time I did not take it. Oh, fuck the bone. No. <laughs> Shit, that the balcony is. What do what what happened? What do I need to take the fucking medicine? Probably. Fuck. What if I? God. Damn it. made history by doing what they were told, right? You know what I mean? Oh, what? Uh, is the... Uh, why is that red? I don't think it was red before. Was it red before? We've begun entering the later... Do you hear that? We've begun entering the later year, and as such, our daylight hours are getting shorter. We'll be entrusting you to light all the manor's candles before nightfall, as well as stuffing them out in the morning. This is a large responsibility, but we trust that you are more than capable of it. We almost do our part here. You're such a responsible young lady, Dorothy. Surely your family will be glad to have you home. A ring of keys. Pick up the keys. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. does that is not cool. Okay. Let's go. Let's fucking go! Um, is it here? Oh, I did unlock. Oh, because I've got the fucking keys. I can do whatever I want. But I just need candles. Shit. Oh. Oh, okay. Cool. Box of matches. Yes. Box of matches. You light the candle. Oh shit, cool. Okay, what's that? The candle has been lit. Oh, the lighting effects are pretty fucking good. <laughs> I, I, uh, I appreciate the lighting effects in this game. Whoa, what was that sound? A wet box? The contents have been removed. That's a candle. Light the candle. Oh, no, no. This is cool, man. Okay, so we're seeing evidence of the girls all over the place. Things have happened to them. Giant fucking T-virus monsters are happening to them. Are there candles down here? I'm not seeing candles down here. None of this is okay, guys. Right? Oh, I can't unlock that one. I can unlock this one, though. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Dad's got to light some candles here. Come on. Shit. Oh. Oh. Uh. Light the candle. Uh uh. Uh uh. Grandfather clock. Okay. That's bad news, bears, and you're gonna make me go upstairs, and I'm gonna have to find out what that shit is, aren't I? Everything is awful. Awful. I don't want anything to do with any of this. What's that? Take my time exploring the hole downstairs and make sure I've hit every candle downstairs. Of course I will. Yes. Okay. Fuck. Bad shit. Bad shit. This is terrifying. or is this a door? That is a door. Okay. Don't think we need to go 
outside. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh shit, fuck off with that camera angle. The wet nose, oh no. And the Lord saith unto me, go out into the masses and preach my word, for the kingdom of heaven is but a lie. Indeed, tis a lie, a lie. The God of our forefathers is dead, and in his place we will awaken our new Lord, our better Lord from below. Below we will arise, arise, and take the smoldering world of man. My brothers and sisters, our salvation lies in Dr. Edward Sullivan, prophet of the new world, for our lives do we owe to him. I don't like that angle. I don't like that fucking angle. I don't like that angle. Light the candle, yes please, okay. I don't like that angle. I don't like that angle. Oh no, no, no more. Oh shit, there are no candles down here. Oh fuck, and is it getting darker? Or is it just me? It is getting darker. Great, oh shit. Um. Oh, I don't want that angle either. Fuck off! Oh, I, I can't see! Oh shit, I cannot see! Okay, I came out of that door. Uh, I need to check this door, right? like backing away from the monitor every time the door I go through a door it's bad I don't I don't know if I've told you kids but I uh uh where are the stairs oh uh through here the stairs the stairs through here I think I think I think I am not good with scary games I don't know if I've told you kids that or not but I am not good with scary games eyes and the palest, palest, 
the palest skin. They don't seem to eat nor drink nor react to the bitter winds outside. They just stand about, shuffling here or there. Sometimes they sit, sometimes they sleep, but mostly they just stand trying to look inside the windows or knock on the door. Bartholomew and William have already quit because of it. I can't pretend to blame them. I've asked them what they want, and they just tell me they want to see Edward. Why do these people want to see my husband? He won't even see me, let alone strangers. I've only seen him once since August. He was moving boxes through the back door of the manor. He yelled at me to get away, and I did as he said. I'm afraid. I know where to go. My god, I heard gunshots. Not from outside, from the basement. Six shots and agitated yelling from my husband. I and the servants, brave enough to venture out of their rooms, rushed to the basement door and called for him. There was a terrible banging at the door, then four more shots. I heard something fall down the stairs before my husband screamed at us to get away. He sounded almost scared, or worse, relieved. I can't just keep pretending that there's something I can salvage from this. Whatever he's doing is only growing in scale, and that horrible hum from his damned machine is merely the chorus to this tragedy that I now call our life. God, Edward, please. Maybe what I knew of my husband and his work was always a lie. I want to believe that something changed in him. Perhaps during the war, perhaps in his time, to find an end to this plague, as we understood it. Yeah, I'm gonna butcher this. He used to speak of all kinds of things for our future. Maybe it was simple, perhaps even idealized, but they were a dream that we could both see so clearly. I can't seem to see that dream anymore. That world is buried beneath nothing but the agony I felt when I last saw his cold, dead eye. Oh no. Eyes not far removed from the gangs of shambling lunatics that gathered at our doors at all hours. Perhaps there is a new illness that I, nor any of our help, have heard of. It's not as if I've had the opportunity to leave this prison in so long. A whole world could be entrenched in another great war, for is all I know. A prison. That's how far from these dreams of the future I've gone. The home that we were to grow together has become nothing more than a prison that I live a waking nightmare in. Perhaps that waking nightmare is preferable to the ones I see at night on the rare occasions that he doesn't return, shaking my every fiber of work. Holy shit, this is a lot. There is no doubt in my mind that he can no longer see the future we once spoke so wistfully of. I doubt that he can see much of anything anymore. Nothing beyond that hellish engine he's brought into our home. At first, I'd been able to ignore the abominable sins that my husband has brought into our home, but with each night, there are new, terrible sounds, some mechanical, some horribly human, Saul, completely unnatural. I am no doctor, nor shall I ever hope to become one, but the godless acts Edward has begun participating in, and the droves of mumbling madmen that now gather at our yard in some kind of perverse congregation, tell me that there is no longer a hope in my heart that my husband is any more of a man of science. If there were such a hope, it died with whatever abominations he has taken to shooting in the dead of night. I no longer know if I fear my husband, but I am certain that I fear whatever the thing that has replaced him is. Edward has allowed himself to be taken to hell, and I will doubtlessly be forced to follow. Um, sh uh, fuck all of this. First aid kit. Oh. Oh, oh, good. Oh. Oh no. A first aid kit for 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 he he healing. Oh, I got to leave, don't I? Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. This is bad. Okay, so that room has light. I got them all. Nope, I didn't because it won't let me open the door. What did I miss? Musty wardrobe. Nothing of interest. Okay. Fuck. Stop doing that music. Or ominous low rubble. Um, door to the balcony. Okay, we're just gonna quick double check. So there's a first aid kit in here that I can use to heal myself. So maybe this girl, Dorothy. Wait. No, hold on. What's right below me? I have to think about this. What's directly below me? Okay. All right. Oh, fuck. 
Okay. Okay. Empty cabinet, nothing useful. Not allowed back in. Okay, finally. Oh, shit! This bitch has a flashlight. Oh no. This is it, the final girl, right? Take your tablet. Oh, I don't think we're sitting around waiting for it. Oh, she's not sitting around waiting for the call. You gonna force me to take it? Do I have to? Oh, shit. I don't like this at all. I don't wanna. Okay. Um. Is there a save? No, there's no. Status fine. Margaret, status fine. Okay, 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 okay. Yep. I don't want to take the medicine. I don't want to take the fucking medicine. <sighs> All right. Let's uh let's drop down and see what happens. I bet they're only going to unlock it if I take You clever girl. You clever girl. Lockpick is under your pillow. Yes, amazing. Amazing. Oh, amazing. That was great. That's a great little twist there. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. A letter. I left the rifle like we talked about. You have to kill it tonight. The door to the laboratory is under the porch. Oh, oh, oh. How many shots do I have? Do I have infinite ammo? This is... Bad. This is so bad. This is bad. This is so bad. Why? Why is it that I feel less secure now that I have a gun? Okay. So this is a. Okay. So it's a first aid kit. Heal yourself. I feel fine. Okay. Great. So know the location of one first aid kit. Who? Uh. Who left that note? Who left that note? I want to know. Okay. I basically know where to go. I'm really curious. I'm really curious about how taking the medicine may have affected what's going on. Chandelier has fallen. Yep. Sure fucking hey is. This is going to be uh, an interesting little game if the idea is now just go kill, right? 
I do like that aiming. Shit, I don't want to accidentally... Is there... Five out of five. Five out of five. Five out of five. Okay. It says auto-aim is on. I'm gonna leave it on just because I fucking feel like it. Okay, guys? This is not a first-person shooter. I'm not out here trying to show off my prowess. Besides, games like this back in the day... You kind of had a snap to targeting, so I'm going to... Wait, no, not that way. Right here. There we go. I don't like the implications. If I have to kill that big red thing, I'm going to fucking take it out with just this little fucking rifle. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. Because one first aid kit in the entire house seems a little chintzy here. Come on. Mm-hmm. Bathtub. Toilet. Sink. Everything's cool. Okay. Um. One first aid kit. One first aid kit. Five bullets. And a partridge in a pear tree. Okay, let's go. No, uh, no sense sitting around. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> oh no! And this is what, an 11, 12 year old little girl? Oh no. Uh oh. Hey. Oh, you lingered. Uh. What's this? Is that a thing that I can affect her? I didn't mean to go back through the door. I thought I could grab the thing that was on the wall. But, that being said, seeing as how those stairs led further down... Oh, and I don't... Okay, well, let's check this door. I have a sneaking suspicion that it's just going to be these two doors and the stairs that lead down and they just go around. Ooh, ooh, oh, why am I going this way first? I'm going to the... I'm going to the Saw Dungeon. <laughs> oh, yep, I'm going to the Saw Dungeon. Oh, nice, nice, uh... Oh, fuck, what the... Yep, red light. Red light is bad. A letter... July 24th, 1922. Oh, shit, so we've jumped forward. My suspicions were not only confirmed, but completely validated by my final discovery last night. The zealots were less than happy to come to realize my line of questioning hadn't ceased even after several more months of my experiments. The hierarchs took to keeping me as content with research material as possible, hopefully to keep me stimulated. Perhaps too much so to ask my questions while the radiant heat from the engine slowly cooked away my mind and warped my body. It's quite unfortunate for them that these walls are my walls, and that I know where to get anywhere I need to in this manner. I, uh, no, you're going to chase me down. You're going to chase me down. This is what led me to finally listening in on one of their perverse sounds. The things these madmen ramble out about would give a man pause, but hardly make him listen far beyond that. I've been far too close to those happening for far too long to not listen, though. Listen and understand. They spoke of their great god in the machine. They spoke of how it communicates through their dreams, as it had with me, showing them prophetic visions. Visions of the future. They speak of the day the machine has finally fed the blood of the last innocent. They speak of the blood-red sky opening to their lords, the convergence of the two worlds. The legions of our fallen that will return to herald in the reconnection of the true world to our own, and the slaughter that will fill every city of man, and that their own bodies will begin ascending in their holy vessels. Everything I've been seeing has been given a new context, and I realized that I had been betrayed. Every single thing the entity had told me had been a means to complete the bridge. Cain's terrible staircase to his gods. Were I a weaker man, perhaps my mind would have been so gone as to this news meaning nothing to me. But the truth is before my eyes. I will bring the devil to this world if I allow the machine to continue running. The more blood I spill, the closer I get to ending it for all of us. The maniacs seem to have yet to notice how suspicious i become, which will work to my advantage. It will take no time to disable to... 
it will take no time to disable the devices that power this hellish engine, and hopefully even less time to destroy it. My body may be changing the same as all the others, but my strength is far from gone. If I can truly dismantle the device, then I may have some chance at salvation. This will take some time, but if I am left to my devices as I have been, then I will have the time to tie up the loose ends that may be left in this research and plan for safe passage of my darling Juliet. Oh, God, Juliet, my wife, how I have betrayed her. If she is still even resides in this hellhole I have created for us, and I must tell her the truth, seek some kind of forgiveness. Though my acts may have been as evil as any lunatics, let it never be said that I stopped loving my Juliet. I will save her from this future. I will end this myself. I just need enough time to put this in motion. Please, wait for me, my love. Let me be the man you know I am. To the care of Dr. K. H. Hauser. Um, great, cool shit. Um, I, I don't want any of this. A first aid kit. Heal yourself. I feel fine. Okay, I know now the location of two first aid kits. Um, comforting. Okay. 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 Um, for those of you at home, if you have not seen the movie The Void, you should. If this is catching your interest in any way, shape, or form, you need to see The Void. And there's nothing in this room. Oh. Uh, yeah. Who? Oh, good. A letter. Months of trials, months of failures, months of that infernal voice pushing itself deeper and deeper into my brain. With each failed test, the being seems to grow more and more impatient, not being able to figure out how to communicate its hope to me, wanting a chance to get its hands on something uniquely corporeal. The long, dried, and mangled corpses of my ancestors produced very little in the way of true results. The bodies attempting to move, moaning, crackling. At first, I thought the enfeebled material was the reason why the being could not occupy them for very long. But as we moved further into the more presently dead, the results did not seem any more promising. It can't seem to focus on any one corpse long enough to keep a sustained connection, must let apply, much less apply anything that resembles communication skills. And before too long, it's as if the body simply loses a connection. Simply loses a connection, trying to scream in agony before its flesh or lack thereof folds down into another broken pile. In my desperation, I even turned to Cousin Garrett. Everything about the boy looked withered by all the time in this dark decay. There was a moment that I couldn't even see the surg surgical scars that I'd left him with. It was almost cathartic in a way. That catharsis was truly ruined, however, when I brought him within range of the machine. Like all the others, it took mere moments before he started moving. Unlike the others, he refused to stop moving. Garrett's convulsion slowed after mere moments before he began to rise. Sitting up for a brief moment, it was almost as if I'd had my cousin back. The illusion was quickly shattered when the shrieking began. Not uncommon for any of these attempts, but something about it was so much closer to a human, yet so much further away. Then, to all of my surprise, the creature that was Garrett began shambling upward, moving towards the stairs. I was as excited as I was terrified. There was something here that I had not expected. Something much better. In my disbelief, I'd ignored his movement ever closer to the exit of the basement. Soon, he was pulling out the door, attempting to find his way to the world above. I didn't know what to do. As he began to... M smash? A lot is, is a lot of this intentionally misspelled? I wonder. As he began to smash against the heavy wooden barrier, it was almost no time before his howls began again. I knew it was a matter of time before the rest of the manor would be alerted to the beast. I did my best, in my panic, to turn them away, but I had no means of removing the creature. Its strength somehow greater than anything the withering body should have been able to produce. In my desperation, I took the only things I could think of that could be able to stop him. My old service pistol. It took more shots than any man ever could have. It took more shots than any man ever could to finally put it down. No more twisting into discarded flesh. No more crumbling into the same old set of dried skin and bone. This corpse returned to being a corpse. I had to let Garrett down to his rest. Yet again. This will all be worth it in the end. It has to be. Oh, still going. 
My research has started to stagnate. The resources are drying out, as is my patience for these repeated failures on the same decrepit meat that I'm being forced to abide with. The voices have gotten clearer than ever, trying to guide me in a particular direction that I've been managing to fight off for so long. Why are the sins I've filled my life with the last few years not enough for this being? Why does it think that the corpses and parts that I've been forced to work with manipulate aren't good enough? The failures to keep a host alive long enough is more than obvious now, and I fear I have no other option but to give in to this alluring promise and finally end its expansion. I will need a living host to continue this work. Perhaps at one point this may have shocked me to the point that I would leave this... Ooh. Wow. This maid search behind... Wow. Ooh. We've got some typos. Uh, I would leave this maid search behind, but perhaps it knew that and kept this knowledge from me just long enough to hope my drive would get me past such a mortal hard block. Perhaps me knowing this has given me a sort of split that I can escape to in my reasoning, but every time I'm forced to look at that painting of the bastard Kane sitting in his lab, staring down at me as if he always knew I'd never succeed his work, I feel just that little bit of pride push me past the barrier that would hold my dream to the realms of mortality. Thankfully, the being has provided something more than adequate to say she has hunger. For the better part of the last year, I've heard from the staff, in what little I do hear of them, that strange groups of men have been congregating and asking to see me. My work has been far too important to spare them this time, but thanks to this recent break in my research, having been held up for some time, I was able to speak with the ringleader of this growing army of confused zealots, and in this I've learned of their reasons for being here. They know of the being, and they need my help to contact him. They treat me as if I'm some sort of foretold prophet, which is a position, however laughable, that gives me a level of control over this bizarre situation. When I suggested what I may need to the head zealot, he seemed almost pleased to offer me exactly what I was asking for. A short, steady supply of living subjects to continue to use as catalysts for the research. Perhaps this will do as little good as it always has, but I believe that all of my questions will soon have answers. We've been using the hidden entrances to accommodate as many of these subjects as possible for any number of tests. The young, the old, the strong, the infirm, all the subjects only have one thing in common. That is that they are more than willing to do whatever it may take to see this being into our world. I can't be certain how much of the being's words I can actually take them to heart, but I know that this may be all I have left for my research. Perhaps the answer I finally seek is within grasp. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. So this doctor, our, our Dr. Edward Sullivan, has been conducting um, experiments to let some sort of cosmic entity into our world. It wants a body. The corpses are not doing it, and so we need a live body. That's great. I wonder why the little girls are all here. They take their medicine. They, what, get... Uh oh, they get complacent. Let me in, 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 let me in. Okay, you're not letting me in. They take their medicine, they get complacent, and then experiments are run on them? Is that what it is? Somehow it worked because we've got the red zombie mutation thing running amok. Maybe that's Dr. Sullivan himself. Oh! Hi! Realistic statue. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, you are... You are a naked human. You are a naked human, aren't you? You are. Dorothy, are you okay? Uh-oh. Am I gonna... Nope! 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 No, 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 She moved way too quick. Oh, fuck, she moved way too quick. Uh, where is she? Holy shit, where is she? Oh shit! No, 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 no! You get away! Oh, I'm out of bullets. I'm not counting bullets. 
shit, I am out of bullets. I'm about to fucking die. <laughs> oh, this is bad. No, 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 I want out, I want out, I want out, I want out, I want, I want out. I died. Yeah, I sure fucking did. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, where's it gonna drop me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, hang on, kids. I'll be back in a minute. Hmm. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. Um... I did not turn on the device this time. So I'm not taking any pot shots at her. Okay. So we walk up. This is gonna suck. This is gonna. Cause she gets a free shot off of me, basically. Uh, oh, shit. I was kind of hoping I could avoid that. up on the eye that I just shot out. Oh my god. Whew. Okay. Um, where is... Okay, so there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a control panel to activate in here. I didn't activate it before. I was kind of thinking that maybe um... That the control panel like activated the engine or something and that's what made Dorothy attack us but we're gonna do that now I'm I'm really concerned about the fact that there is no autosave did I use all of my bullets hold on uh no wait no 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 but when I said there's no autosave I mean, there's no way to save uh warrant okay options is options oh no that's just options right there on a way on I've got one bullet Okay, we're gonna do that thing where we run all the way back here. First aid. Okay, status is fine. I've just got all of Dorothy's blood all over me. So that's great. And I've got one bullet, holy shit. Wait a minute. Oh! Oh my god. I have infinite bullets. I just have to hit the reload button. I can't believe I'm such a fucking idiot. Kids, I am so sorry. Wow. I'm, uh, I'm dumb. I was just like, oh, well, let me hit the reload button. Try that out. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Uh, can I check out Dorothy? Yeah, fucking... Yeah, she's gone mad. I don't know how I'm gonna edit that one, kids. That's a... There was, there was some... Oh, there was some... That was... That was yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm gonna cleverly edit the nudity there. I'm not monetized. It doesn't matter. Maybe I'll just see if YouTube let it slide. Uh, what the fuck? Piece of old equipment. I doubt it works. Oh shit. 
An artist painting of some kind of lightning machine? Well, I'm glad that... Oh my god, what is that? Okay, here's a door here. Unlocked it from the opposite side? What the... Oh, wait a second. What does that mean? Dusty shelf full of knickknacks and textbooks. Nothing useful. Oh, another realistic statue, huh? Ooh. All right, I'm just kind of getting the lay of the land here for a second, kids. I just want to make sure I know where things are and that I'm not missing anything because if I do, the portrait of a man, is it the doctor? Reading time. November 23rd, I've been told that the war has affected many men in interesting and terrifying ways, and perhaps I'm less exceptional than I may have assumed. Sleep comes in small, unaccomplished sessions, leaving me all the more strained in my daily life. Though I fear that my exhaustion is far from the main reason for my disconnection and lack of focus, my practice suffers, my research is all but flattened into nothing, and I truly have no... nothing. I may... Oh, I may truly have nothing to show for it. For all the fears I've had that my life would end in those trenches, I feared all the more that Juliet and I would never be able to find the solace we once had together. Through all the frozen nights and terrifying days filled with the blood and viscera of my countrymen, it was really the only thing that gave me any hope that this would all amount to something. And what of that motivation? Completely squandered. Proven to be as fleeting as my own fidelity. I returned from the horrors I witnessed only to feel nothing in the home I left and comfort in the arms of but a girl in my manners and boy. I can't even begin to hold this weakness against Maria, and much less Juliet, but ever since I returned there's been something in me. Something that wasn't there before. That newfound mental peculiarity may well be responsible, as my sanity first started to prove unreliable as I began to recognize the faces of the men that were held together under my knife and the will of God during those horrible days. Some men I'd met on the long voyages to the fronts. Some I knew more personally. Once I'd spent well past four hours working on the shredded chest of a young man caught in the blast range of artillery. The operations had felt so mundane that it wasn't until I was sure we'd lost the young man that I'd recognized him to be my cousin, Garrett. Oh no. Oh no. I don't think I had a single tear left for him when they shipped him back here to the family burial grounds beneath my very feet. Why could I not share a tear in the realization that I'd lost a childhood playmate, a family member, a true friend? Maybe that was all I needed before I felt the weight of the wall pressing down on me and the dreams began. There was no subtlety in the onset of these visions. They came as hard and heavy as one could expect of a fever, but they all seemed much different, much more visceral. All I could hear were voices that guided me, guided me towards something that would need to be done to save all of us, a grand solution that would save the lives of every creature. These sprawling growths of belief started to seep into my waking moments and they've drawn back with me to my home. I want to lose this, but I feel the voices are only stronger here. They've driven my madness to places I cannot stand to see myself go. They've drawn me to take the body of a young woman, to betray the only future I wanted with the only woman I wanted it with God. Help me, Juliet. Please forgive me one day. I need to find something to satisfy these voices. I need to return to my studies and save whoever it is that must be saved. I need to sleep this long, and I can still barely look my beloved in her face. I draw away from her every time I need her most, and I, as I know I do not deserve her. Maria continues to concern herself with me at every turn, and much as I do not care, as much as I do care for the girl, I fear she must not understand my true feelings for our deed. So I hide now in the lip drawer that I've made in our old cellar. For all the sniveling and self-loathing I've done in my self-appointed isolation, I've begun to work especially hard on this newly spreading disease from the southern of Spain. It's create a key focus on my work throughout the days, maybe even given my dreams something to focus on. Perhaps this is the cure and salvation my, my weary mind needs. Maybe this is how I'll save us all. My research has been progressing as slow as one could imagine it would be for such a new field of study, but... Perhaps this is where my old dreams may be trying to aid me once more. 
It seems strange perhaps to give any credence to my own delusions, even if I simply try to excuse these actions as feeding a growing hole that my exhaustion has been creating. I think my dreams may actually know something I do not. Upon researching some further notes left by my grandfather, I've found what appeared to be a type of blueprint that has become remarkably close to the very structures I've seen in my waking delusions. The rational part of me wants nothing more than to place my knowledge of this device as some distant memory of having seen these same blueprints in my medical studies for university, but the honest part of me knows better. My visions are becoming too prophetic for me to believe them, the simple soft headiness of my war-shaken mind. There must be a reason why they've come so much clearer since my return to the manor. I must continue delving into the catacombs below where the old notes were held. Every indication is telling me the remnants of the machine are somewhere on the grounds, and Grandfather's old journal strongly suggests that he had them crafted for some kind of cure himself. What it truly does, or how it could be expected to work, is far beyond anything in my own field of studies, but if I continue to follow the development of his notes, perhaps it would all work out in the end. The more bizarre and detached my research seems to become, the more clearly I can see the dreams again and the clearer images they start to make. I see hints of its sign, something that seems utterly alien to me, but at the same time it has a familiarity to it, like something I've seen in a much deeper soft memories. Once faded deep into the back of my mind, I just need to listen a bit closer tonight. Maybe I'll hear something clearer. March 1st. I think I've come to realize what's being asked of me. Oh, great. Dude, the guy operated on his cousin and then reanimated his cousin. Oh, none of this is okay. Uh, first of all, oh. Oh, shh. A shelf with hands and other body parts. <laughs> Great. Um, I am. Something is coming. Oh, no, thank you. I do not want you to chase me. I am not ready for that part of this game yet. Oh boy, you are a big motherfucker, and I do not want to fuck around with that in any way, shape, or form. Weird science equipment. A table of brains. It looks like they were being studied. Got it. Okay, there's the note. Oh, uh, safe? No portrait of a man. No, the safe. Oh, it's still okay. You're not gonna let me look at the safe. Okay. Oh. Okay, so... Dr. Sullivan didn't even come up with the machine on his own. Uh, some blueprints from his grandfather. So this is super old cthulhu -y stuff. Oh, look at that. Look where I am. I have come full circle. What does that mean? Did I miss anything down there? I don't think I did. Um, but I had better head downstairs to double check real fast. Because if there is anything I missed and I start meandering about... Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, back here. Ooh, I don't know about this. I don't know <laughs> about this. Uh-oh. 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 First aid kit. Okay, good. You feel fine. Oh, there's something back there. I don't want it. 
Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh uh. Uh uh. That was too much. That was too. That was a lot. Oh sh shit. I found three control panels. Wait. That's right. That's right. I think, right? Oh, I don't remember which way I came from. Okay. okay so I came out there. And I never came down this way, I don't think. I don't think. <laughs> that looked VGA graphics as fuck. Oh my god, VGA graphics are just like in in just like inherently creepy. As crunchy as they are. Oh no. Oh dear me. Oh dear me. Uh oh. Mm. An electric cage, the power was off, possibly used for experiments. What, what do you want me to do? A public address system, turn it on. Attention all, attention all, this is the estate. Patricia, if you've already taken your tablet, please report to the dining hall. We've prepared a new task for you, the litter on the table. Good girl. Yep, yep, they were using the girls in the experiments. Why the drugs though? Is it, again, it's got to, it's got to uh, make them complacent somehow. So, piece of old equipment, piece of old equipment. Did I, did I get it? Did I turn it on? Did I turn it on? How many of these control panels are there? Fuck. Okay, so the girls were being used uh, in the experiments. Clearly. I was right on the money. Put the medicine, they were complacent, they had something to do with the research, but, but why? How many of them? Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh dear. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, what have we got here? Am I gonna have to lure the... The monster into this into this nonsense come on come on what do we got what do we got what do we got a letter more reading the research has progressed at a rapid pace there's no shortage of work to be done and no shortage of volunteers though primitive the being is able to fully communicate its continued direction to me through the seeming possession of the fresher corpses that have come as a byproduct of our work and the living hosts have begun to show somewhat different reactions Symptoms similar to mine from when I'd originally began my work are common in nearly every one of them, but the longer their direct exposure to the pylons and the energy is, the more detached they seem to become mentally. The reactions seem sharper, but cognitive function seems to dumb down to much simpler, more passive series of reactions. They have no problem identifying orders, motions of actual threats, but they frequently seem to forget the answers to questions that they knew just days ago. Some of them, when held to the effects for even longer begin displaying signs of violent mania often lashing out and attacking other subjects or often to their misfortune me i do not like wasting any life much less the life of a subject but once this mania takes hold there hasn't been any observable way to bring them back to any kind of lucidity and certain adjustments must be made to ensure the safety of the others 
Troubling as these effects to their mental faculties are, the symptoms themselves are getting far worse in other regards. The longer a living subject is exposed to the radiating energy of the pylons, the more their physical attributes begin to reflect this strain. Many show signs of sun-damaged skin, though the flesh itself seems to thicken and swell, some with boils, some simply to resembling something closer to animal hide. That's our giant motherfucker that keeps walking around. Often their limbs will start to show signs of distortion, but seemingly to no awareness of the subject itself. This is also true with many other changes to their physical features, be it their facial feature distorting or some increased mass to their overall bodies. The entity feigns some kind of ignorance to these physical and mental abnormalities when I attempt to probe further on the effects of the engine, but I am starting to detect a familiar pattern between these cases that is leaving me with some kind of increased concern. As fascinating as this progress is, it's creating an uncertainty that wasn't in me before. How long must I wait before the intentions of the machine and its mysterious designers? Their closed lips on the subject have always left me with the more excitement than concern. With the increasing show of these mutations caused by it and the degenerative cognitive defects that are occurring, I can't help but feel that this was part of their plan, letting me work on the machine until those same effects came back on me. Perhaps this cult that has come to live in my family home understands more about this being than they led me to believe. All right, so the doc was being used. He was being used by the cult. First aid kit. I don't need to heal myself. Ooh, first aid kits are... Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Thank you, thank you. Yep. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, shit. Uh, well, I gotta be careful with reloading. That's not good, though. Oh, but that's not good. I can't open this. Okay. Um. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Oh! 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 Uh-oh. Uh-oh, shit. Now what? Oh, fuck. Please don't, please, please don't kill me. I can't turn it 
off, can I? Oh, thank God it saved. Holy shit. God, if I had to run back and do all of that one more goddamn time. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is really not cool. Oh, my God. When I am... And, and, Oh, further down? No. No, there's shit down there, boy. Oh, shit, no. Mm-mm. 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 This is only gonna get stupid. Further down. What? You're not gonna make me shoot those, are you? Do I have to shoot those, or are they just, like, big-ass bugs? Do I follow them? Okay, they don't hurt. That's good to know. I mean, I don't like them, but at least they don't hurt for now. Oh, you're going that way. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, shit. A maze. <sighs> okay. Um... Okay. Is this where I came through? Gate is down. I can't pass. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's follow these dudes. Let's follow our dudes. There's a torch over here. Doesn't really mean anything. Another torch over here. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What do we have in here? Oh, did I come through here? God damn it. Okay. Deeper down the rabbit hole, right? A tunnel. I feel a breeze. I could probably escape this way if I could remove the bars. So, what do I just... I need something to remove the bars. Shots full. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man. This is tense. This is tense. Where am I supposed to go? Not sure if you kids noticed or not, but I get lost easily. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. It is searching time. Okay, we're in the catacombs. Please don't everything come jumping out at me. The reanimated dead. Holy shit, setting- oh, fuck you, with your fucking realistic- realistic statue. Come on, just let me out of here. That is too loud! <gasps> no, I don't want to go further down. I don't- I don't want to go further down. Yeah, fine, read the letter. I have no fear of death. I have for what may come of me. I have no fear of death. I have for what may come of me here. Oh, okay, got it. Dr. Sullivan, is, Dr. Sullivan is the prophet of the... Excuse me. Dr. Sullivan is the prophet of the ages. Even being able to see the staircase to our saviors is an honor that I may never have hoped to have in this life. I will give this vessel onto whatever is willed of me. The only true pain left is waiting. Waiting to bring us to salvation. Let any who read this know I was one with the true God. I helped bring us all to salvation. There is no greater honor than this. Mm. Oh, good. Big, big, wonderful cult feelings. We're all going to die. We're all going to be... Oh, no bloody writing. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a message in dried blood. Beyond...
Uh, be on to all that we are one. Be one to all that we are one. The stairs shall ascend to the true and only God. Great! Um, I don't need to. Okay, good. Valid. There's nothing in here. Okay, so just keep searching. Aha, aha. Is that a grenade? Son of a... Oh, no. Um, I can't... Oh, 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 I bet the bars. The bars, the bars, the bars, the bars, the bars, the bars. I'm going to set the grenade at the bars and blow them off and then get out of here. I am a resourceful young lady. Oh, please. Nah. Oh, no. And I bet there's going to be more than one of these, isn't there? Oh, yep, there is. Sure is. Sure is. Sure is so. Sure is so. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh,
shit. Okay, come on. Let's not celebrate yet. Load. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. I think I remember which way to go. I'm pretty sure that the game is just going to lead me in the way I need to go so I don't have to think about pathfinding too much. I wonder if those realistic-looking statues have come to life and are those monks from the sickles. Okay. Gently. Gently. I do not want to fuck up again at this point. That is a long way to go. Oh, shit! Oh, come on, come on. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. oh Jesus. Ah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. One hit, even. Yep. Those are the realistic-looking statues. Shit. Back up, back up, back up. Don't come and get me, don't come and get me, don't come and get me. Oh, shit. Jesus! Oh, I didn't even notice before when I was playing that those were the statues come to life. I'm like, monks? Okay, what's my health status? Health status is fine. You take a couple of hits. Oh, fuck, come on. Just let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Come on. Oh, shit. Okay, gently. God, every corner. Every corner is awful. Wait. What's a ladder? A ladder? Yes, you see emergency escape ladder. Oh, but what's gonna come my way? What's gonna come my way? I don't like any of this, and what's gonna come my way? Oh shit! Here? Here? <gasps> That's why we heard things. Oh fuck! I know. Oh, Jesus God, that was so stupidly fucking scary. <laughs> Just dropping the fucking flashlight. Jesus fuck! God, a fuck. I'm, yeah, uh-huh. Wait. 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 Uh, isn't there a first aid kit here somewhere? Door to the balcony locked. Isn't there a first aid kit in here? Probably a bedroom. Locked! But I just came out of there. Why is it locked? It shouldn't be locked. It just came out of there. Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! Thank you. Uh 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 uh. Mmm. Mmm. Let me out. Let me out. Oh shit! Oh fuck! You're gonna make me fight him, aren't you? No! No, 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 no! 
not there! No, not there! No, not there! Oh my god! Oh my god! I did not <laughs> mean to hit that button. Okay. Uh, okay. Ooh, two shots. And now he's running. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy bear. Come on, try and chase me down. Man, I really hope there's a first aid kit back in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That was me. Oh, I thought that was me. Oh, I thought that was me. <laughs> I thought that was me. Oh my god. All right. You won't. Oh well. Fuck you. Um. What's my status? Status is caution. Okay. Please let me out now. Please let me out of the house now. Oh, I can't even uh, click on that door. Okay, cool. We are done here. We are so done. No more twists up your sleeve, game. Please? Look, Emily, you, 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 this has been a wild fucking ride. Come on. So close. Come on. Come on. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, shit. What does that mean? Are you ready to go, Margaret? Yes, I am ready to go. What does that... What? Are those the ghosts of my friends? for that except for the one room that was on fire that was full of zombies uh, that could get fucked that took me a few too many a few too many uh, tries but wow what a game y'all at puppet combo or something else get yeah, kids like the style the atmosphere the homage to VHS horror uh, you know, from what I understand and what I've read, that this is like an homage to Giallo and Italian horror, and it really, really fits that bill. Um, if you enjoyed this game, go watch Suspiria, the original Italian one from uh, 75, I believe. It's either 75 or 77. You should go watch that film because that's this all over. Holy shit. I had no idea where this was going. Um, especially once they introduced the giant mutated dude who was kind of like a cross between Nemesis and, uh, Pyramid Head. This is great. This was great. This was, this was, this was great. Like, definitely, uh, a little frustrating in places with how it asked you to react quickly. And if you didn't, then you had a lot of ground that you had to retread. But I guess it's kind of the unfortunate nature of things like this you know you know like me personally um i know that murder house had a different save system where you could save very much in the same vein as resident evil games and this would have benefited from that especially in the final stretch there with the final girl also can we just appreciate the fact that the final girl the survivor was a black girl like choice very choice way to upend the tropes guys 
I'm gonna wait until the credits are over before I say anything else. That's the credits. That's the end of the credits. So, yeah, great game. Um, the VHS atmosphere, the aesthetics, everything about this was so good, so on point. Um, what a great fucking... See, that's one of the things that I love about Spooky Month is that, you know, like, I like the concept of horror games, but I'm always a, a little too scared myself to actually play them. So, what a great thing to have Spooky Month October, where it's like, you know what, just, no, this is the month. This is the month. Go play something super fucking scary. And that's, that's what we did. Um, thank you so much, kids, for sitting down, watching Dad play this. Um, thank you, Pancake Detective, for purchasing the game for me to play, you rat bastard. And thank you, Puppet Combo, for putting together games like this. You're truly doing Satan's work, and I love it. I am looking forward to playing more of your games and, well, more like watching the detective play more of your games in the future. Have a great day, kids. Make sure you stay hydrated. Go eat some food. Sit up straight. Sit up straight. Just pull your shoulders back right now. Fix that posture. Take a deep breath. You're going to feel real good. There you go. All right. I've got more spooky content coming up later this month. Um, actually, by the time this airs, I have one more video. It's my Halloween special. You're going to want to be here for it. I'll see you then, kids. Take it easy.